Hello, hello, hello. How are you, beautiful lady? <laughs> so you're home today. <laughs> so you're home today. Yeah, I'm yeah. at home. And, working uh, at home. Yeah, I'm working at home and I will spend all the day for my students, for you, for my... <laughs> Oh. For my paperwork. <laughs> okay, so you um today you're going to you're going to have some clients as well, like students. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Like interviewing after, them. Uh, yeah, after our class, oh. we have some students. Okay, mostly from Brazil, right? Yeah, from Brazil. Yeah. Uh -huh. But do you also have clients who are not from Brazil? Yeah, I have some students from India, from uh, South America, Latin America, yeah, Mexicans, uh, Colombians. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, that's good. So, how was your, how has been your morning? Good? Good. And about you? Well, yeah, uh, uh, later, well, I, uh, how do you call it? Thais and I were talking about, you know, me coming to your office on Monday. Yeah. But her birthday is on Tuesday. Do you know? Thais' birthday will be September 1st? Yes, yes, on Tuesday. Same day to my husband. Same day with my. Same, same day with. Same day with, with my husband. Yeah. Oh, really? Huh? Yeah. Oh. I saw that Thais birthday will be September 3rd, Thursday, no Tuesday. Really? I thought it's Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, will be Thursday, no Tuesday. Mm -hmm. oh. But I can check. Uh, let me check and I will send the message. Yeah, because, okay, this afternoon... We, we okay for example we receive a message from an email from our director the director of st giles and we have a meeting with her today at 2 p.m so i'm going to the school today so instead of going there on monday to visit right so i'm planning to go there on tuesday to bring pancit for you guys <laughs> Because it's Thai's birthday, but then it's Thursday. I oh okay. Yeah, I can I can uh, celebrate on Tuesday because yeah. I'm I will be there and Thais will be there. Yeah 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 okay so on Tuesday, yeah, yeah. I'll be there on Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna bring some pudding, Brazilian dessert for you. Okay. <laughs> Well, I I don't have enough eggs for my leche plan, but don't worry, I'll make some for you. No, 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 no. just my Brazilian dessert and uh, your lunch, okay? <laughs> the noodles. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so let's start with your homework. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Okay, so if you look at the first one, um, there is the word recently here. And if there is the word recent or recently, Would you share your screen? oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Let's start with this, okay? Oh, okay. Let me make this a little bit bigger. <laughs> it's okay, Juliana. I will explain. Okay, so if you look at this, you look really great. And then it's a question, yeah? Uh, but it's because of the word recently, or if we use the word recent, or recently, this is easily in the present perfect tense, okay? But you use the present perfect simple, but this should be in the present perfect continuous. Like, uh, can you please read the sentence, the whole sentence? Yeah. Okay. You look really great. Have you have you been working out at the fitness center recently? Okay. Um, have you been working 
okay no have you worked no okay. yeah 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 have you been working okay. out so oh, from the I, beginning i did my exercise with my husband my husband is dead as well <laughs> he needs to <laughs> so this one is have you been working out at the fitness center recently okay for example uh, i will give you another example uh -huh, okay. i have i have two more students for you okay oh wow thank you yeah yes. what's uh, their name they like names uh, yeah the name one is Fabio, another one is Mateos. Uh, yeah. Oh, another Fabio? I already have one Fabio. Fabio. <laughs> okay, let me check the name. Okay. Fabio, 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 Maybe, no, 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 one man, one woman, Juliana, another girl. Oh, wow, another Juliana. Another Juliana in your life. <laughs> and two Fabios. <laughs> two Fabios, yeah. It's a, com yeah, it's a name. common name. Yeah, it's, it's a common Juliana name. Is common. Yeah, no, I, it's a common name, Brazil. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I had, you know, some students before with the same name, but... Uh, for example, the one that I have right now, Fabio, it's B. But some oh. some of my students, V. Fabio. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's different. In Brazil, it's most common, Fabio, with B. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, oh, I think Italian. Or Brazilian, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, for example, look at this one okay, example. I've been recently. Uh -huh. Yeah, so mm -hmm. because you're I can't you have you study? No, have no. you been studying? Because from the past until now, it's still going on. Uh -huh. okay. So the action hasn't stopped yet. Okay, so okay. if you say, for example, this in a statement form, you say, yes. I have been studying with Louisa for, let's say, one month, yeah? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, I have been. Okay, good. Yeah, I understood. Okay, okay, okay. Now here, in number two, you have to use the past continuous. Because there was an action that was going on, and then another oh, yeah. past action happened. So, uh, what were you doing when the accident occurred? Can you read this occurred. word, Juliana? Can you read this word? Occurred. Yeah, occurred. So, it's just D, okay? okay now, occurred. you use the past simple. Okay. Now, where, in, of what were you doing when the accident occurred? And then can you continue with letter B because it's a conversation. Okay. I was trying to change a light bulb that had burned out. That had burned out. Burned out. out. Okay. Burned out. Yeah. Yes. So you have to use the past continuous in both sentences. Right. Yeah. Okay, because what did you do, for example, uh, what did you do after work yesterday? Okay, gotcha. Yeah? What did you do after work? Okay. Okay. Not, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I went to... The grocery store, for example, to the grocery store. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's a definite past action. Uh -huh. So you have to use the past uh -huh. simple. Okay. 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 Is it clear? Yeah. Clear. 
Yeah. Yeah. Super okay. clear. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good. Now, in number uh, number three, you got it correctly. That's very so, good. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, because you still have the car in your possession, right? So I've had. Yeah. Now, usually in conversation, you know, native speakers would use a lot of contracted forms. So I've had. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, in number four, this is first conditional. Did you study conditionals before? Do you no, remember? No. Ne no, never? Conditional? Maybe some, some sentences. Okay. Uh huh. So here it should be present simple. Oh, I think. Can you just give me one second? I just okay, need, no problem. I just need to log out. Uh, okay. Yeah, because I think there are some people messaging me on my Facebook. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not logged in. I'm not logged in. <laughs> okay. So, in number four, look at this, Juliana. So, if it's... Can you please read? If it snows this weekend... We will go skiing. Skiing. Near Lake Ski. Hello. Hello. Yeah. So he, he just woke up? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So the meaning of this, the meaning of this, Juliana, is future. Skiing. Okay. If it snows this weekend, we will go skiing near Lake Tahoe. Okay. Oi. No, no, no. Tahoe. Skiing. 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 Yeah, from near the word Lake ski. Ta yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Skiing. Okay. Now, if you look at the first part of the sentence, this one is in the present simple. Yeah. Yeah. And this one is in the will form, future simple, right? So right. this structure is in the first conditional. Yeah, first conditional. Okay, so uh, I will give you another example of first conditional. I mean, a sentence in the first conditional. Mm. Okay, so if we get our PR soon, yeah, so, uh, we'll go, we will go to bed. <laughs> we will go where to bed, the lake lobby. <laughs> ah. Okay, okay, so we will go on vacation. We will go to Lake Louise. Okay, yeah. <laughs> if we get our PRs and we will celebrate. Celebrate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's the same. Okay. So this one, we call this the if clause. It should be in the present simple. Okay, yeah. present simple. And then the second part of the sentence, the main clause, it should be in the will form. That's first conditional. Okay. We call this first conditional. Present simple and then future simple. Okay. Yeah, it's like it's it's likely to happen. So if we get our PR soon, which is very possible, we will celebrate. Yeah. Put uh, it out the final phrase sentence. Uh, I will, I will celebrate it. No. No, 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 no. This is okay. we will celebrate. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Can you just give me another second as well? I need to turn up my uh, cell phone because the signal might drop again. There oh. you go. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. Okay. So anyway. That's what we call first conditional, Juliana. Okay. Okay.
in my case um, okay if the pandemic ends Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, your your small boy. Yeah, my grandchildren. Yeah. 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 I yeah. hope if the pandemic ends soon, for example, if the pandemic yeah. ends, so it's in the present simple, right? I will go home and visit my family, most especially my grandchildren. I know. My twins. Kids. Yeah. Okay, now number five. What do you call people who work in libraries? Okay, so you have to use. Uh, uh, oh my gosh, so simple. Yeah, so they yeah. are called librarians. How do you call, okay, people from Brazil? They are called Brazilians. Yeah. Exactly. So you say they are called. Yep. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So easy. <laughs> <laughs> so you always have to use like the passive form. Verb B plus the past participle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So here. Uh, I came to England six months ago. Okay, it's in the past simple. I started my economics course three months ago. Now, when I return to Australia, I, this is I, I am I wrong. Don't understand. Mm, for nine months, I will be in English course. Okay, I'm going to study. Okay, so I'm because this is something that you have decided actually in in the second I mean the last part of the sentence. Well, you can use will be, but grammatically it would have been future perfect tense. Okay. okay. So when I return to Australia, I'm going to study for nine months and I will have been in England for exactly one year. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Number seven is correct. Very good. Uh, here, we're talking about the past. Okay, I, did, I forgot to highlight this. Yeah. Can you please read, Juliana? Yeah. Uh, Samantha lived in Berlin for more than two years. In fact, she was living there when the Berlin Wall came down. Yeah. Okay, so meaning Samantha doesn't live there anymore. Mm -hmm. She doesn't live there yeah. anymore because look at this. Came, it's in the past. And actually when the Berlin came down, I think that was, I don't exactly know. Uh, I can't remember the, the year. But probably mm -hmm. over 20 yeah, years yeah. now. Over 20 yeah, years yeah. now. Over 20 years, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Samantha lived in Berlin mm -hmm. for more than two years. That was before. In fact, she was living there when the Berlin Wall came down. And that was 20 years ago or more. Okay. Yeah, is it clear? Uh, yeah. It's yeah, it's super clear. Someone oh. no have lived. Oh my gosh, have Yeah, because if you say have lived, Samantha still lives there. Yeah. Okay, for example, yeah. if I say I have lived in Vancouver uh -huh. for eight years. So meaning I'm still here, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. So I came here. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, so here, number nine, very good. Well, actually, this one is an example of first conditional. You got it correctly. Very good. Yeah, because if Vera keeps drinking, she will eventually. So there should be eventually here. Yeah. Yeah. 
she will eventually lose her job. So that's what we call first conditional. You know? Okay, so the, the, the pattern is present simple. And then plus future simple. Uh -huh. But, you know, the, the if clause is in the present simple. Future uh -huh. simple. Yeah. Okay. So I'll put it here. If clause is in the present simple. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Number ten. Okay. Now this this happen, of course, hundreds and hundreds, or probably thousands of years ago. So we cannot use the word has here. So this is totally in the past. Can you please yeah. read, Juliana? The Maya established a very advanced civilization in the jungles of the Yucatan. Mm -hmm. Their culture uh, virtually disappeared by the Europeans first arrived in the New World. Mm -hmm. So you also have to use the past simple here. Both of these are in the past simple because we're talking about something that happened thousands of years ago. Yeah, okay. Juliana, can you please read this word? Established. Established. So it's T because of the SH. Now, what about this word? Hello, Juliana. Hello, Juliana. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. I can hear you now. Yeah. The signal yeah, drop. Okay. So the first one is established. What about the second word? The second word. This second one. Second word. Uh, advanced. No. Advanced. It's also T. Advanced. Okay. So established. Yeah, advanced. And advanced. advanced. Okay, so these are the two example. Okay, SH plus ED, right? Equals equals T. T, yeah. Yeah, and then CE. Okay, plus D. It's the same. It's equals T. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. yeah, okay. And this one, what about this, this this word? Oh, there are three examples here. Disappeared. So this one is D. D, disappeared. Oh. And then arrived, D. Arrived, D. Okay, okay. Okay, very good. So I'll give you more examples of mixed tenses. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. good. And I will send this back to you later. Okay, thanks, Louisa. No problem. Yeah, my pleasure. So before, since we have two hours today, we can do a lot of speaking later on. Uh, I just want you to try this first, okay? Okay. Now, what do you think in number one? Number one. I have been here for three hours now, but... Now, you have to use this. Oh, sorry. I didn't see it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I have seen here. I have been. I have been sitting I have, here. I have been sitting here. Yeah, I have been. I know I have sitting. I have been sitting. 
Okay, I just I want to make this larger. Okay. Okay, I have been sitting here for three hours now, but I'm not catching a single fish yet. Okay, so here because we're talking about an action that started from the past and it's still happening right now or you know it's still relevant up to now so you're right the first one should be i have been sitting sitting here for two hours yeah but i was i was not catching a single fish I haven't. I haven't caught. I haven't caught. Okay. I haven't caught. And you understand the oh. sentence, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I, just, I haven't caught. Okay. Yeah. I've been sitting here for three hours now, but I haven't caught a single fish yet. Okay. Okay, so meaning the person is fishing. Fishing. Yeah, so fishing by the lake or by the river. So I have been sitting here for three hours now, but I haven't caught a single fish yet. Yeah. Okay. So for example, in your case, uh, we have been here for how long now? For three years. Okay, for three years. But... We yeah. haven't perceived our PR yet. But did you already apply? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So are you just waiting for the approval now? Yeah. No, no just for the, yeah, the approval, the final approval. I have sent some documents mm. and uh, we need to wait for approval. Uh, we have to wait for approval. Approval. Or we, we have, have to. to for... Or we have to wait to get approved. To get approved. Yeah. Okay. okay. To wait to get approved. Yeah, okay. So approved. it's no approved. Approved with D. Approved. So okay. so it's the same case, Juliana. No, we have been here for three years, but we haven't received our PR yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so in that case, you either say we are waiting <clears throat> for the approval, yeah, okay, or we are waiting to get approved. Good, good. Okay, yeah. So the first one is clear, yeah. And what, what about number two? Have existed. Okay, the ancient Romans. Okay. Beauty, find monuments. No, no. Okay, so and it should be past simple, Julia. So the ancient yeah. Romans built, built. Oh, built, no built. No, 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 no. Okay. This is yeah, 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 this yeah. is an irregular verb. Yeah, mm. irregular. Mm -hmm. I rate the irregular verbs. <laughs> <laughs> I know because you need to remember oh. them, right? You need yeah. to memorize. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The ancient Romans built fine monuments and old roads. Some of them just still existing. No, it still exists. Oh, uh, yeah. So this same form. Yeah, you're right. It should be exists. Uh huh. That's it. It's the same word. But the first one is okay. the ancient Romans built fine monuments yeah. and old, yeah, old roads, some of which still exist today. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I 
saw you yesterday. Okay, very good, yeah. Saw you yesterday. You yeah. were you were mm -hmm. sitting. You were sitting. Okay, very sitting. good. It should be past continuous, right? Sitting outside a cafe. Okay. No, cafe. Cafe. No, cafe. We call this cafe here. In my oh, home country know. or in Brazil, cafe. <laughs> but it's cafe. Yeah. Cafe. Cafe. Okay. I saw you yesterday. You were sitting outside a cafe. Yeah, cafe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Yes. She never seen. She never seen the sea in her whole life. Never seen. Yeah, but it should be with. Remember, if we use the present perfect tense, it's either you have the has or the have. So she, she has, has never seen. Yeah. Never seen. She has never seen. Okay, I forgot the tense. In the same word, like she, he, she didn't go to there last year. No, she haven't. No. Okay, she wait one second. It, this no, should no, be. No, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She didn't have went to there last year. She haven't went. No. Okay, so there is last year. Remember, if there is a time marker yeah. in the past, we use. Yeah, she, yeah, she wanted because of last year, so yeah, we use the past wanted. simple. Yeah. She wanted <clears throat> to go there last year, but she doesn't have any money. No, we're talking about last year. Last year, oh, didn't have any money? Yes, you're right. Okay. She wanted to go there last year, but she didn't have any money. Okay. Yeah, so we're talking about last year here. So everything should be in the past simple. Yeah, past simple. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But this one, it's because in her whole life she has never seen the sea in her whole life she wanted to go there last year but she didn't have any money to go on vacation for example yeah, yeah? okay but in your case in fortaleza you live near the ocean right yeah. how far yeah. juliana how far oh uh maybe burar to your town <laughs> really that near? Yeah. yeah. Wow, it's so near. You can go swimming anytime you want, right? Anytime you want, yeah. It's true. But, but good thing you have light skin because, you know, most people who live near the ocean or near the sea, they usually have darker skin. Yeah, yeah, but um, I, have, I have sun all day, all year, but we need to perfect our skin, yeah? Mm. And... Uh, the most of time we stay inside some place. Okay, most of the time. Most of the time we need to stay inside, uh, or in the job, in the office, or in the. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But I think most Brazilians, most. Please okay. correct me if I'm wrong. I think most Brazilians are also tan, with tan skin. Am I right or no? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, tan skin. okay. In most Brazilians. Mulatto? Do you call this mulatto? Mulatto, yeah. Okay. Uh, my stepdaughter is more I know, mulatto. I think she's half. I think, yeah, because... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I've seen her My picture. Is more, than, is more 
Okay. Yeah. Darker. Yeah. Darker. Darker. And she yeah, has dark. she has curly hair. Yeah, I, my stepdaughter has curly hair. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing well, oh. thank you. Yeah, I know, I saw the picture. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Okay. And how old is she? Uh, 16 years oh, old. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just curly, beautiful curly yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah, beautiful curly. Yeah. yeah, okay, so let's continue. What about number five? What do you think? Number five. I haven't wear, wearing. And, okay, so. In this case, you're right. You use the present perfect tense. So, I haven't. You're right. Okay. Um, no, what's the past participle of the word wear? Do you oh. know? Uh, I haven't. It's an irregular verb. Been no, no, no. You don't need the been here. Okay, okay. I okay. haven't worn. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will write the conjugation Word. here, okay? So, base form where, and the past simple is war, and the past participle is worn. Yeah, I didn't know. Okay, okay. So, I, will, I want to give you more examples, okay? I were, for example, glasses every time meaning eyeglasses okay. I wear every time. Okay. yeah 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 okay so i wear glasses every time uh i have to make this one work okay so number two past form i wear a black shirt Yesterday. Yeah, yeah, okay, so it's in the past. Okay. I have worn. Um, I have worn uh, eyeglasses since my 18 years old. Very good. Since I was. Since I was. I, I was. I was. I have worn a, I mean, eyeglasses. But in this case, you know what, that, uh, Juliana, it's it's more natural to use the present perfect continuous. But this sentence is still correct. I have worn eyeglasses since I was 18 years old. Okay. Really? And another, another, yeah. Another case, I have, I have worn eyeglasses. Okay. I have been wearing Ah, okay. I have been aware. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meaning, you still do it now. I have been wearing eyeglasses since I was. Okay. Oh, is it true in your case? Yeah, it's true. Oh, wow. Early. 20 years ago. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you tried contact lenses? Yeah, I I have tried, but it's not. Uh, it doesn't work. Didn't work for me. Oh, no. yeah, yeah, okay. Well, it, actually, my like son, it. my son started yeah. wearing contact lenses. Mm -hmm. Uh, wait, he he uh started wearing contact lenses. He started last week. Uh, uh huh. And I don't know if he likes that, it. That, I think it's yeah. okay. Did, did, uh, does he like it? Well, today when he left for work, he was wearing eyeglasses. I think he doesn't really oh. like it. Yeah. Well, actually, even my oldest grandson, he 
has contact lenses as well, but he only wears it when he plays basketball. No, my older brother has contact lenses and uh, he loves it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But for me and my for and for my younger brother, no, doesn't work. Oh, it is. Come on, just a moment, Luisa. A mamãe vai deixar teu almoço, sanduíche, 11 horas, tá? Eu vou lá deixar, porque eu vou fazer um sanduíche fresquinho pra você, tá bom? Aí tu não vai levar lanche agora, a mamãe leva mais tarde, tá? Pode esperar. Tá bom? Não, não precisa... Sorry, Luisa, just for lunch. Oh, so he's leaving now for school? Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. And today will be a picnic day, and I, will need, uh, I need to bring uh, the sandwich for lunch. Oh. And I will prepare around 11 a.m. Okay. I need to be fresh for him, no putting me. Uh-huh, okay. I want something fresh for him. I want some, yeah, I want something fresh for him. Yeah, okay, that's good. Because okay. I'm close to my house. Yeah? How close? How many minutes to walk? Two. <laughs> oh, so it's very close, just few steps away. Oh, oh wow, that's very yeah. convenient. Very convenient, yeah. And I, I, uh, I will you know, I'm going to the. No, I'm the going day. there. There's no two. I'm going there. Around 11 a.m. Okay, okay. So you still have time to prepare after our class because yeah. our class ends yeah. at 10. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, in my case, I have been wearing eyeglasses, uh, like, you know, uh, more kind of like permanent when I was, uh, that was probably 10 years ago. Wow. Yeah. yeah good for you. Yeah. I thought my family has some eyes problems, maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Because all my, all my cousins mm. uh, need to be, to use. The eyeglasses, eyeglasses or contact lenses yeah. Or contact, yeah most most of them use the eyeglasses yeah 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 i really need to not only reading now like even if i go out so i can read everything now for example but i have a uh, astigmatism i don't oh. know um, i have uh, um light phobia uh huh. So you have a stigma, a stigmatism, yeah. Yeah, and I, I have a headache when I. Ah, if you don't wear your eyeglasses, I yeah, think it's it's yeah. it's the same with my my daughter right now. So I told her to wear her eyeglasses because she has eyeglasses, but she doesn't want to wear them. And I said, and she always complains of headache. And I said, you have yeah. to wear your glasses. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. you know what? My mother, who is 92, and I have an aunt, my auntie, her sister, probably around now more than 80 years old. Both of them can still read without eyeglasses. Wow, good for them, Luisa. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. But, you know, us, younger... You use eyeglasses because you are a teacher and you need to use the computer every time exactly yeah. Yeah. yeah because yeah. even my brother who is already around probably now my brother and he is also diabetic he is around 61 62 and the same thing not wearing wow. glasses he he can my read my my father my brothers they um, all Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Be good at school, okay? Be good at school. Be good at school, okay? Be good at school. Bye bye. Okay, yeah. It's so sweet, right? Very sweet, yeah. yeah. They are so sweet, yeah. Okay. Okay, I knew about the school. I have known. I have known. Yeah, so you always have to use the past participle, okay? I have known. Yeah. About the affair for you. Wow. 
Yeah. 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 I have, yeah, I have yeah. known about their affair. Do you know what? Do you know what the sentence means? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, for example, another example would be I have known you for, oh, for three years now, right? Yeah. Because yeah. you were in my class three years ago. And I have uh, some exercise from you yet in uh, my in my notebook. <laughs> ah, you still have? Yeah, I know. Do you still do yeah. that? You write notes in your notebook. You you yeah. you were doing that a lot, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you you are the best teacher in English class for me. And oh for my goodness! Carolina, for Carolina. For, oh. oh, I miss I those guys. Class. I miss your uh, class. I really miss your class. I, I miss you in my class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I only had to uh, quit. It's because one thing, there, something happened between, uh, you know, uh, like one of the teachers and then I don't know if he was the director. There was a guy, a oh. French guy. Do you know the French guy in the office? No, uh, the dogman, the dogman owner. Um, he, yeah, the owner's assistant. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, French guy. Yeah. So there was kind of a little misunderstanding. Oh. Yeah. Uh, bad for them because our class didn't work more improving in English <laughs> because the new teacher. You know. oh, oh, by the way, who replaced me? Uh, I forgot the name. Male I, or female teacher? Huh? Male, male. or female? No, female. Ah, oh, female teacher. Okay, okay. But we didn't like her. Oh, we exercise the the methodology uh, in class didn't work for us. Yeah, well, yeah, I I really felt sorry about that. Actually, the guy emailed me. Uh -huh. you know, the French guy inviting you. Okay, Louisa, come on, <laughs> come back. <laughs> but my my. my uh, I have a new uh, uh, price for my hour. You can you can pay me more <laughs> because I'm the best teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't about the pay actually, but it was because uh, they were supposed to pay for everything for me, like taxes, mm -hmm. you know, CPP, you know uh -huh. those. Um, government deductions mm -hmm. but they didn't do that and I said no you have to do it that's not uh, legal you know legal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and I was you know insisting and they said no because you're only working part-time with us because I, I had a full-time job I was only working part-time it was an evening class and I said no this is against the, the law yeah. They lost you, and now bad for them. Yeah, it's bad for them. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Go ahead, Louisa. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, can we do seven? We only have. Okay. The rest will be your homework. Okay. okay. Because I want you to have more speaking today. Yeah. Okay. So let's finish up to ten. So, if you look at these expressions, especially, two years for the pursuit. Yeah, so been. meaning from two years ago until now. Okay, I have learning. I have been, don't forget the been. I have been learning, yeah? I have been learning. Yeah. I have been learning. Yeah, I need to remember it. I have been learning English for the past two years and now I learn I'm learning very good yeah 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 I'm learning Russian too wow yeah. Russian <laughs> <laughs> that I, need I need to learn from <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's
that's a difficult word. I mean, different right. difficult language too. I prefer English, okay, baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So it should be I have been learning, okay, and I'm learning Russian too. Number eight. Luisa is working. Have been working. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, the whole weekend. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now this one is is British. The you, mom, and this one is North yeah, American. Yeah. Mom, yeah. Okay. Mom is different meaning. Um. Mom is. I don't know how to explain. Mom. No. Okay. So both of these are correct. One yeah. is British, one is North American English, yeah. Wow. But anyway, you can also say Louisa. Louisa. Yeah, Louisa. yeah, but been working. <laughs> but it should be has because uh, oh sorry, 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 sorry. She uh has been working. Very so, good. Yeah. I know not has it, but yeah. <laughs> has been working the garden the whole day, the whole weekend. Uh, yeah. Because the whole day she has some students. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but even after class, sometimes I I, I go like yeah. in the afternoon. Like yesterday, I had strawberries. Oh, I saw the cake. I have squash. Oh, so cute. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and so you're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have the long word. We have been staying during. Oh, no, no, okay. These are two verbs. Have, oh, okay. We have. We have. We been, have been. This, no, we have this long word. You have to use the present perfect simple. Have had. Very good. Okay. So, or we've, we've had. had. We've had. Conversational English? Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. It's yeah. Bad. We've had. This lovely weather for last three weeks. I hope it's staying that way. Okay, here it's because of the word hope, Juliana. You can either use the present simple. It's I or hope, I hope it will stay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I hope it stays in that or, way. Yeah. Or I hope it will stay that way. That way, okay. Yeah. yeah. So there is no big difference in meaning. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you either use the present simple or the future simple when you use the word hope in this case because you mean now. I hope it stays. Uh, I hope it stays that way, or I hope it will stay that way. Okay. Very good. Number ten. Must shop. Are closing? No, close, close. Yeah, yeah. There, there's no change. It's the same. Yeah. At PM on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. In Brazil, ten PM. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even in my home country, I think it's ten. Sometimes it's even later than ten. But here it's early. It's it's so early uh, here. I mean, when I finish my job here at home or my office in our office um, I, 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 uh, I could go to mall but it's closed it's I'm almost closed. closing yeah almost closing yeah uh -huh. early I know but in Metro town for example they close on weekdays they close at nine. Uh, in Coquilla Center, near me, uh, maybe six are. Oh, it's early, yeah. but then on sat on Saturdays it's still nine, but on Sundays they close at seven. Uh, Holidays and oh. Sundays they close at seven o'clock. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for the you know the supermarkets. Yeah, yeah, 9, 11 p.m. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I think it, before in the past, they, they close earlier, especially during winter. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. 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 yeah, but at least now they they close until Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm, because I need to go there and I I'm working until 4 sometimes 5 and I need to go pick my sons up, my son up. Yeah. And, and do you know that there are countries in Europe, especially Switzerland, uh -huh. okay? I think they close early as well, like around probably eight or nine during weekdays, or yeah, eight or nine. But on weekends, almost all shops and stores are closed. Uh -huh. Weekends, wow. weekends, especially yeah. Sunday, especially Sunday. Only only gas stations are open and, and you know like those small shops or stores at the train station or at the airport. But you you cannot go and go shopping for groceries on on a Sunday most especially. Oh. Yeah, so it's it's even more uh very you mean like inconvenient? Inconvenient, yeah. Because if you didn't have time to go shopping on weekdays because for you work, you were busy, yeah. Yeah. there is nowhere to go, almost nowhere to go on weekends. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And the people need to, to uh, uh, apply for uh, request the day off <laughs> for go something like that yeah and i had some students before they need okay after work especially on a friday they rush to the supermarket to go shopping oh my god yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it's 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 a hassle or probably when you go shopping you have to buy a supply good for two weeks or one month yeah yeah <laughs> okay oh so number 11 will be your okay homework Okay, so I will send this back later to you. Yeah. And every time, Juliana, uh, go over the corrections because this will help you to become more familiar. Familiar. Or yeah, of how things sound, you know. Yeah. Because sometimes you are able to kind of like figure out that, oh, yeah. this one doesn't sound right. You yeah, know, yeah. so it's it's knowing what sounds correct and what sound or what sounds right. Okay, yeah. Okay. So anyway, Thanks. I will save this for you, and we'll do speaking more. Yeah. Okay. Big enough for you? Can you see? Yeah. Big oh, enough. Yes. Big enough. Number one, please. If you could open up, you open up. Your own amazing park. Mm -hmm. What would you be like? Ah, a dinosaur? <laughs> Why does your son Rat, love, love dinosaurs? Yeah, yeah. My son. Okay, I'm just put my chart there. Jurassic okay. Park? <laughs> yeah. My son. Oh, mom, can I go uh, to Disney? Oh. Uh, okay, when you be. Six. I I will go there. I will bring you there. I oh, okay. I will bring you there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How old is he now? Five. Uh, almost five. In September eight. Oh, so your husband and your son have the same yeah. birth month. First, my husband September eight. My my son. Oh, okay, okay. After, after yeah. yeah. So one week after. <laughs> One week after. One okay, week. so it's it's like a Disney park for your son. Park, yeah. Mm, okay, but have you been there? Have you been to Disney? Yeah. Disney, yeah. 2014 with my husband and my stepdaughter, we uh -huh. went to Disneyland in Florida. Uh-huh, so your husband, I mean, rather, your son was not born yet. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. My son was born in 2015, one year ago. One, one year after okay 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 so your your stuff stepdaughter has been living with you uh, here even... in brazil just on weekends ah 
So who does who does she live with on weekdays? Her mom? Oh, with yeah, her mom? With mom and uh, because she lived with her and on weekends, every weekend she stayed with us. Every weekend or on weekends. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so every time you have to yeah, use the ever, ever before the word appeared, every weekend she stayed with us. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. Like you teach me. <laughs> uh huh. Or on weekends. On weekends, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every weekend on weekends. Yeah. yeah. Because every is always followed by a singular noun. Singular, yeah. Oh, uh -huh. okay. So that's the that's the arrangement. Yeah, arrangement. Okay, but how far does she live from you? Uh, here? No, no, no. In in Brazil, like, is it far? Does she live far from you? Yeah, not too far. Um, maybe Vancouver to Burnaby. Oh, not bad. Yeah. So, like, almost the same city. Yeah. Same Ah, okay, okay, okay. Because Vancouver and Burnaby are different cities, right? Just for a distance. Mm -hmm. uh, I figured it out just the distance. Okay, okay, okay. Uh huh. I just figured it out. <laughs> good, 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 good. Yeah. Okay, very good. So it will be uh, like a Disney park for your son, especially. Right. Yeah. Okay, what about number two? Spending time on your own, yeah. If that's so or game with your friends and spend much time alone. Okay, I get my. <laughs> oh wow! Nail palish. Yeah. New and nail polish. I polish my fingernails. My fingernails. I polish. I I I like polish my fingernails. No. I like to uh, my eyebrows. Ah. Yeah, by myself because it's expensive, it's expensive here. Expensive here, yeah. And uh, sometimes um, I organize my uh, my clothes, my uh -huh. okay, uh, my 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 home house. Yeah. Okay, so usually you just stay home, polish your fingernails. Carry, carry me, carry me. <laughs> Can I say carry me? What? What's that? Okay, this one. I pluck my eyebrows. I pluck. Wow. Mm -hmm. I pluck. I pluck my eyebrows. Okay, by myself. I pluck. Good to know. Because it's so expensive here. Yeah. Organize my clothes. My what's the name for stuff? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, there was one time that my son, it was on a Valentine's Day, and uh, he gave me a certificate, I mean, like a, a gift certificate. Uh, like uh, for nail polish and threading. Woohoo, salon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a little bit expensive, and I said, please, next time, don't do this. I did my, I did my uh, highlights. In a Brazilian salon here, in, here no, in Burnaby, yeah, Kingsway, yeah. on Kingsway, and uh, I, I spent three hundred. O M G, that oh. was a <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot. The reason I go, I'm going there. No, the reason I went there. The reason I went there, no. Uh, Another time, uh huh. Before. The reason I go there, I go there once a uh, year. Ah, I go there once a year, a year because it's too expensive for me. 300 Louisa. I know, I know. Oh my goodness, but you know what? Well, um, I, uh, I can only afford to have highlights, for mm -hmm. example, or streaks when I go home because it's mm -hmm. it's really cheap. Very cheap. Yeah, okay. in Brazil as well. But mm. uh, for me, pandemic time, yeah. I can't go there. And okay, 
and I color my own hair. I color my own uh -huh. hair here. Yeah. Wow. Now I want to have some highlights because see, I I have some white hair now here. Yeah, me too. I have a lot of <laughs> So I want to cover this and it's good if you have some streaks or highlights, right? So I went to London Drugs. Uh, I think that was four days ago. And I saw this, this like a cap for highlights. But I, I haven't done it yet. I bought uh, like a hair. <laughs> I bought a hair color. I bought a hair color and I usually do it, you know, myself, oh, right? No, no, no. Oh yeah, okay, okay. And I said, okay, can okay. I do this? Can I do this? And I put the, the cap, you know, with with holes, no, no, no. yeah. But it's so difficult. No, no. it's so difficult for me. No, 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 no. no, no. Or uh, I, I need to pay for the service or I say like uh, my uh, white hair. <laughs> So I tried, you know, like pulling like this. No, no, no. no. and I said <laughs> this won't work. No, yeah, so I will God. just probably color it without, you know, the highlights because I'm having a lot of white hair now. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you need to go there in the Philippines salon. <laughs> I cannot afford here. I cannot yeah, afford. I know. I know. It's for so, me just once a year or more than one year yeah okay 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 yeah i, I have, totally understand i have my first needs <laughs> exactly exactly it's not it's not a priority no it's not my priority no. yeah 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 okay so anyway it's only once a year so it's like you spent uh more than 25 dollars a month yeah 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 okay yeah. so anyway uh number three please if you were making a move about your life which actor would play all part of you why did you shoot this <laughs> could be a brazilian actress or hollywood actress I, uh, did you watch the i star is born oh with, uh, uh lady gaga uh, lady gaga and uh, the guy wow so handsome the guy oh oh no. my gosh and the whole guy is go 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 <laughs> and I need to watch <laughs> yeah well of course i know about this movie i've seen the trailer on youtube uh -huh. or on oh, uh, on facebook so amazing movie. my my son actually saw this movie and there was a time that we were talking about something and then we were talking about some movies and then um he asked me mom have you seen the movie a star is born and i said no oh you should That's see it movie. and you need to watch uh you can watch uh lions the name lions is a uh, true 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 history Oh, you mean uh, the, the, the guy who... Uh, India. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen this movie, yes. I actually showed this in my class. I use this as my material. It's a beautiful history. I right? know, I know, yeah. I still cry. I know. Oh, my goodness. Imagine, right? Imagine. It was really incredible that when he was already an adult, he, you know, no, he... Yeah, um, no was able to do this like search just just search. remembering that there was this big water tank you know in that yeah. area and he did this like trying to locate this was died and it's so sad the I know. older brother uh, when he go come back with his home country mm. he met the mom mm -hmm. And the older brother, he was died. Oh, and the, the older brother already died. Already died. Or uh, dead. The, the brother was already dead or the brother already passed away. Passed away, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, I know. I, I, I saw this movie uh, in a cinema. Mm -hmm. And then since we have Netflix. Yeah, Netflix. Netflix, you Netflix. know, at work. Yeah. You know. And uh, I use this as uh, kind of like a, not a homework, but it's an activity in my class. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. Good very, idea. very touching movie. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, and your life can be a good story for a movie. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I know. It's especially Fabio. You know Fabio? Yeah, yeah, I remember the history. Yeah, oh my goodness. I'm so amazed. I'm so impressed. Like from some from someone who uh, belonged to a very poor family. You yeah. Know? Look at him now. He is a doctor. His brother is a lawyer, older brother, and his his um, sister, who's younger than him, is an attritionist. So all of them are professionals. Yeah, yeah. And he worked. He started working at twelve years old. Twelve. Yeah, same my husband. Oh my goodness! So I was telling him not only your life, but his life can be a good story. Yeah. You yeah. know, for a movie yeah okay but anyway life is good now so okay number four from your country samba <laughs> yeah, I, I, her people. I know but yeah. other than samba is there any popular uh, music uh, any music popular brazilian uh, mpb is the the kind of music mm -hmm. in, Sanova. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, in my city. We have Forró. So yes, <laughs> like uh, like uh, tango, like tango. Ah, oh really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you good at dancing, especially yeah. samba, samba? <laughs> okay, there was one time that one of my Brazilian students in my class demonstrated how samba is danced uh -huh. so the footstep it's kind of like different footstep a uh, lot of a lot of stomping yeah a lot of shaking <laughs> so sexuality woman uh, yeah. so it's a very sensual sensual dance sensual dance with uh, some woman uh, use uh, bikini, just bikini and uh, oh. samba. Uh, and do they do this during the the carnival? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you have you tried joining a carnival or carnival? In my city, no, in Rio de Janeiro because it's so expensive yeah. in carnival time. And uh, I have been there in Rio de Janeiro uh, in another time, mm -hmm. but uh, in Carnival, just in my city. Oh, so, you participated? Yeah, mm -hmm. just, uh, with my friends, with my husband, just... And wearing this uh, bikini as well? Mm -mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not a sexual woman. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, but I, I think um, no, no, no. You were in shorts, not in bikini. I think it yeah, was your. St I, I, I wear bikini. Like some pictures. Bikini, just with my husband, I use it when I go. Um, okay, I went. We went to rec beach here. Yeah, yeah. Okay? With my son, with my stepdaughter, but some people. Are naked. Ah, yes. okay. Both naked, both with bikini. I don't know how to explain. Mm -hmm. And my stepdaughter, daddy, daddy, you got it naked. <laughs> Stop it. You can't talk to your mom about this, please. <laughs> It's called 
naked beach. No, no, but my husband bring her, uh, his daughter. <gasps> oh my no! Kid, but my son is four. It doesn't understand. Okay, my son was naked as well with my husband, and oh. about me. Uh, <laughs> not <place> for us. <laughs> And you are not allowed to take photos. Yeah, I know, I know. No, you're not allowed to take photos. And, you know, you're not, I think you're not supposed to, like, stare, stare yeah, people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? I had a group of Korean students before. I had a group of Korean students before. And they went to you busy because... You know, sometimes we recommend, okay, go to UBC. It's a very big, you know, university campus. It's yeah. like a small city, blah, blah, blah. And they walk further because they wanted to go to the beach. Okay? <laughs> and they didn't know that, you know, if you go a little bit farther, <laughs> you will see this naked beach. And, yeah, they were really shocked. To see people <laughs> lying on the beach and, you know, without... So I, went, I went in Brazil, a naked beach, with my husband. Just my husband and I. Okay. Oh, so you have this too? Yeah, in Brazil. Oh, yeah. oh But okay. it's totally naked, no house. If oh. you are with bikini, you, you need to take it. Take it off. Take it off. Take mm -hmm. it off. And you need to stay naked like me, like another guy. And uh, we went there. My my husband invited me when we stay uh, for three months engaged. Mm. Okay. Uh, could you uh, go with me in a naked beach? I don't know if it's the name. And I talked to my mom. Mom, Osiris invite me. Uh, invited me. Invited me. Uh, invited me. Uh, uh, naked beach. Why? And my mom. Go, go. It's so funny. Go <gasps> so there, and, mom. Are you sure? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, he he think uh, I'm a puta. Puta. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, prostitute. Prostitute. And my mom. No, it's not for prostitute beach. Uh, mom, naked beach? I've never been there. Go, Juliana, go. You are so beautiful. You need to go there. Mom, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and so you went. Yeah, we went there. And uh, I'm so nervous, Luisa. I'm swearing. Nervous. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. I need to make me up. Oh, size. Uh... Can we come back? No, we need to try it. It's a, a freedom life, free life. And I, okay, go ahead. And I'm so nervous. And my 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 arms, my my I don't know. I the names. Um, my pants. No, my legs. Uh, my legs. My legs. I, I walk, walk, walk in peace. My legs. <laughs> Your no, city? No, no, no. My, uh, it's another city. We need to go by car or airplane. Oh, okay. Beach. It's a tourist beach. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's a but, tourist area. Yeah, tourist area. But we went there. Uh -huh. Aha. So you, you also have this. Because before, I had one Brazilian lady in my class. You know, uh, 
she was my student at VEZ, Vancouver English Center, and she found out about this uh, naked beach here. And so she went and she tried because she wanted to feel, you know, how, how, you know, like how it feels to be naked with other people being naked. <laughs> it's so, it's so hilarious. <laughs> So there was also another guy, Brazilian guy. So in that class at St. Giles, it's a group class. There were like probably eight or nine people. There were two Brazilians, one from Germany, uh, the rest, you know, Asian and one from Colombia, for example. And then one time, uh, like on a Monday, he came to class and he was so excited. Like he said, oh, you know what? Uh, so every, like... I asked everybody, how was your weekend, you know? Uh -huh, uh -huh, and then he said, oh, you know what? I went to Naked Beach yesterday. <laughs> and then, what? You went to Naked Beach? Yes. And I was also naked because the same thing. You wanted to feel. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. How it feels to be naked with other people. Now, I'm okay. If you can, we can go together. <laughs> but, you know, so now... Body? Body? Yeah. But it's okay. It's okay for me. Oh, you're already a mom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and then the, the, the German lady in that class, uh -huh. because like everybody was shocked, you know, like somebody from Colombia, yeah. one one from Korea, and one from Japan, and said, oh, you did this, blah, 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 why? And yeah. how did you feel about this, blah, blah, blah. And then the lady said, oh, you know what? In Germany, there is one part in Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, too. you know, old people, young people, yeah. middle age, teenagers, they are on the same beach and all of these people are naked. Naked, yeah. Yeah, so, so for her, for German same people. In Europe, uh, same. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, because a lot of people say we were born naked, so there's nothing wrong with that for uh, them. Some guys are so um, bad guys. Mm -hmm. Just some exactly. Yeah. yeah, if there's no malice, is yeah. it's okay. But then if there if there is already malice, then that makes it bad. Like in Germany, for example, like the, that that lady said that everybody goes there, especially during summertime. You know, like you see babies. Uh, yeah. I saw babies. Y young, oh. young, young people, oh, middle yeah. age, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, old people. And it's, 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 and the lady said it's funnier. If you have the malice, for example, yeah. it's, it's really funny to see different, yeah. different sizes, yeah. different colors. People are playing uh, volleyball and oh my gosh, and the eggs. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. It's fun and it's funny. Yeah. It's, it's fun. It's yeah. Funny. Yeah. Funny meaning it causes you to laugh. Okay. It's funny. Yeah. It's funny. But then it's fun if you are delighted, you're happy, you're enjoying. Yeah. Have fun. And it was funny. Yeah. Okay. So it was fun and it was funny at the same time. Yeah. Same mm -hmm. time. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, number eight is a very important question. Okay. Um, I almost dead. I almost died. I almost died. Oh, why? Um, what happened? Then I come back from my work, going to my home. Is this in Brazil or here? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I almost died when I 
going I'm was going to my house. When I was walking home or when I was going no, home. I, yeah, when I when I going when I was going home. Where yeah. I almost died when I was going home. I was driving my car yeah. with my friend. Yeah. And when I I I turn left turn left mm -hmm. the guy was in front of my car oh. with uh what's the name? Um, arm? No, uh Ah with a gun. Gun, gun. With a gun and uh, stop it, stop it. It my heart is so fast. Fast. I was so nervous, yeah, okay. Yeah, so nervous. And my friend uh, going down in the car, mm -hmm. and I put my and I accelerated my ah. car, and I put for killing her, his, him. Uh, uh, you wanted to uh, to uh, run him over? Yeah, uh, my 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 uh, I want I want uh, to kill him. I wanted to kill him. Kill him. Oh, because if I stop, he will kill me. And uh -huh. I put my car, accelerate my car, mm -hmm. and the guy go away. Mm -hmm. And I accelerate, and then that maybe he didn't have any bullets. Bullets. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't know because he didn't uh, turn on. To the fire. Noise. He fire. didn't fire yeah. his gun. And I'm accelerated, and when I arrived at home, I was talking to my mom. Mom, uh, uh, now I almost died, and I'm so laughing, laughing. <laughs> I'm so nervous, and my mom, are you kidding me, Juliana? No, it's true. And I'm laughing, 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 nervous. <laughs> mom, I almost died, mom, mom, and I'm laughing, laughing, laughing. Because I was so nervous. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm laughing. <laughs> okay. So, the the guy wanted to take something from you. Yeah. So, he yeah. asked you to stop. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't stop. You and accelerated I, your car. I accelerated my car. And uh, I want to kill him. Yeah. I want to kill him. And uh, the guy... Then uh, turn the uh, gun, gun pocket. No, like they didn't fire. Didn't fire his gun. Fire his gun. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. but, but it was so bad. A guy. Okay, so as I turn left, a guy. A guy. Was yeah. no. A, a guy asked me to stop. Yeah, asked me to stop. Yeah. With a gun, with a and gun. coke. His gun, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I didn't stop. Uh, my car. Okay, I didn't stop on us. I didn't stop. I didn't stop. But wanted yeah. to run him over. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, run him over. But <clears throat> I accelerated my car. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. But good thing. Probably he didn't yeah. have he didn't have a bullet. He I didn't fire. I, I couldn't stop it because I'm so scared about uh, the stroke. Yeah. Stroke. I was so scared. Yeah, I was so scared. Nervous, yeah. And uh, uh, about the stroke. Maybe sex with me. 
I don't know the name. The guy who uh, I, I don't know if the guys who want uh, my car, who wanted my car, or uh, who wanted uh, some stuff from you, like money, credit card. In my, in the uh, we have some uh, guys in Brazil, and they uh, take some girls and uh, who did uh, do some. Sex. Oh, rape. What's the name? Rape. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was so yeah, scared and nervous because yeah. the guy probably, probably yeah, probably. wanted yeah, to steal something from me yeah. and my friend or uh, wanted... Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I accelerated. Mm, okay. And wanted to run him over. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is it yeah. still happening? Do you think there are still, you know, yeah, in Brazil is more, it's so more men doing this? Wow. It's a scary, right? Especially yeah, in big city. Well, in daytime, not nighttime. Daytime. Daytime around the four p.m. Maybe. Okay, still red. It's still afternoon, but you know it's still wet. Yeah. yeah. It's still, it's still uh, clear. Yeah, with the sun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, that was really scary. Yeah, I was single, not married. Oh, uh, I was still single. I still single. I was still. Uh, twenty-five mm -hmm. years. 24. What? How old are you when you got married? 28. I started my... My... Not married. I got married in 2011. No, 2010. Yeah. No, 2011. And I... My first kiss in Osiris. Uh, I started my... With my boyfriend. Yeah. Boyfriend. My, in January 7, and uh, we got married in June 7, one year after. Oh, okay. 20, 2011. 2011. Oh, almost 10 years now. 29, yeah. And then um, your son is almost five. Five, yeah. Five years after we are oh, going to my son. Okay, so it was only five years after that you decided to have a child. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Our last five years, we traveled around the world and uh, we have fun uh, with... Uh, you focus on your careers. Yeah, in my career, in my second degree. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And then your husband also focused on his business. And you decided just to have one child? No, I decided to have two, but uh, my stepdaughter. Yeah. Uh, I have a stepdaughter and nothing. Just one now. Uh huh. And is that okay with your husband? Yeah, my husband. My husband, so. Is he going? <laughs> yeah. He's easy going? Yeah, easy going. Laid back, relax. I relax, and I'm so responsible. Oh, sorry, you need to do this, 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 this. You need to pay a bill. Relax, Juliana. We can go ahead. No problem. You are so nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so responsible. <laughs> responsible. Res. Responsible. Okay. I want you to try this. Yeah, can you read one more time? Hudson Robson. Yeah, okay. So Hudson Robson. Robson. Yeah. Okay. What about this? Hate rate. Mm -hmm, good. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Heal real. 
Okay, very good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. No, it's it's the same. House rouse. Oh, house rouse. Okay. No, so oh, oh, Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah. So this what's one. The, what's the meaning? Rouse. Uh, you get it stimulated. Okay. Stimulate. Okay. So can you start from the beginning? Here. Hudson Robson. Okay. Next. Hate break. Mm-hmm. Heal real. Yep. House rouse. Yeah. Cold rose. Very good. Now, it's easier if you just pronounce the words, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, what about if it's in a sentence? Uh-huh. Hudson Bay is near Robson Street. Okay. You're so smart. You improve some sentence. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm already used to it, you know, like. Uh, I hate it. When be, I hate it. When some business. Businesses. Raise. Internet. Product. Wait. Wow. I hate when some businesses raise their products rate. Like price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, uh, yeah, okay. So, yes, uh, yeah. I have some doubles about uh, Juliana's mom, Apostle Juliana's mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Louisa's party. Uh, sometimes I saw the name. Uh, sometimes I see. Oh, sometimes I see uh, the, the the name is apostrophe. Mm -hmm. apostrophe. Apostrophe, yeah. Yeah, before the S. The and S. after. And after. Yeah. Okay. I will we give you. Some, yeah. I will give uh, you some example. Yeah, mm -hmm. another time. Just no, uh, no, no. Even here, I can use it in a sentence. Good, okay. Good, good, good. So in the second sentence is I hate it when some businesses raise their products rate. I mean price in this example yeah. or uh, okay um, heal for example the name Jesus okay Jesus how many syllables do we have here two there are two okay so if a name ends in S especially name of people okay if a name ends in S and there are two or more syllables. You put the apostrophe after S. Mm, two or more and end uh, in S. Okay, for example, how many syllables? Two. Yeah, so the same thing, you just put, yeah. And what about okay. this one? I don't know if you have this name. Meritus. How many syllables do we have in this name? Three. Okay, Man. so the same thing you have to use, just apostrophe, uh, apostrophe. after the S. Okay, so Jesus suffering, uh, for example. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Real, 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 Learning a lot of new words in this. Our 
Where did you get this book? Yeah. Where did you get this? My Brazilian friend brings to me a, a gift. Ah, yeah. from Brazil or from here? No, no, she is Brazilian, but she lives here. Okay. She bring the gift for me. Okay, so you said this was given as a gift. Gift. By a friend. I, she bring, okay. she gave she, she gave, gave this, me. yeah. Uh, she gave to me. Okay. Or you can also say, this is my friend's. So we're using apostrophe S. Oh, yeah. My friend gave. This okay. Friend. This, this is my friend's gift. Okay. So she friend, it. it's singular, right? So it should yeah. be apostrophe S. Uh, and, uh, okay. Osiris birthday. Apostrophe after S. Ah, okay. How do you spell Osares? Osares. Uh, o. How do you spell that? O S I R E S. Ah, but yeah. you pronounce it Osares. Osiris in Brazil. Osares here. Uh huh. Okay. So, how many syllables do we have? Three. Okay. There are three. And the same thing. If you write this. It's apostrophe after the S. So, for example, the service is cool. Is two minute away from our house. Away, no way, away. Oh yeah, away. Yeah. Okay, Osiris is cool. Is two minutes away from our house. Good. Good. Yeah. Okay. So that's the rule. If there are two or more. Okay, but if it's only one, for example, only one syllable, like the word, I mean the name Chris, mm -hmm. it's only one, right? Uh, okay, Chris. so. Ah, uh, Chris. Okay. okay, or Tess, because, yeah, it's only one syllable. The same thing you have to use apostrophe S. Okay. But it's easy because our names, for example, Louisa, they don't end in S, right? So definitely you have to use apostrophe S. Apostrophe S. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But if it's a name that ends in S, there are rules here. Okay. 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 Um, now, now with this products, I put apostrophe here because, okay, for example, when it comes to... And the uh, yes. uh, pardon me, products, uh, two more. Okay, for example, I mean two or more, it's in the plural form. So if it's like this, for example, okay, so it's just one, right? The boys' parents are on vacation now in Europe, for example. Okay. Now, if I mean two or more, so it's in the plural form, right? Mm -hmm. So you put the apostrophe after S. That's the difference. Okay. The boys' parents are on vacation now in Europe. The boys in plural form. This this one is singular, okay? Yeah, this, the first one is singular and the second one is plural. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Because it ends in S, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Hi, Louisa. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, so here... Uh, so you said I've been learning a lot from this book, right? That book, God's Message. Word, so different words, and I I need to check every day the new words in Google Translator. It's okay. okay. What is this? What is this? What yeah. Is this? Yeah. You know that's a good way. That's a good way of improving your vocabulary. Yeah, the vocabulary is so different. In yeah. The... You mean like very difficult words? 
difficult. Yeah. It's it's okay. For example, for example, a moral milestone. I don't know the name. Ah, moral. You know moral, right? Uh, moral, no. you know moral. Uh, it's okay, but uh, the second one. Milestone. You know, like milestone, like kind of like uh, happening or achievement. Uh, okay. Yeah. Can be situation. Okay. <laughs> A lot of words I need to learn. Okay. So if you look at this, can you please read this sentence? Jesus suffering heals yeah. us from our sins. Mm -hmm. We have to have real faith in God. Faith. 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 Uh -huh. God. Okay. Good. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what else do we have here? Okay, let me. There you go. Uh, Marcus, Maritus, Osiris so School is two minutes away from our house, 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 rose. Okay, so again, always remember when you pronounce the H, it's like, and then the R, R, R house, house, and then rouse. House, rouse. Rouse. Yeah. Rouse mountain. Rouse. Oh, yeah, okay. Rouse mountain. Mm. My son, uh, I have, my son has a friend. He lives in Bark Mountain. Bark Mountain. And uh, when I say Bark Mountain, no, mom, my son, Bark Mountain. And oh my gosh. <laughs> Mountain. Oh, mountain, mountain, and oh, okay, you're right. <laughs> so you have a tutor now at home, uh, a series. Tutor, oh. tutor. You know what a tutor? Yeah. Tutor, tutor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is my tutor. Yeah. Yeah. Tutor. yeah. You have two. Your stepdaughter and your son. <laughs> okay. Oh, this one you already answered. This. Have you ever been a, a victim of? Yeah of a crime but have you for example uh i had some students who said that oh for example somebody from sao paulo i was just walking on the street and just you know uh somebody just grabbed my cell phone or my bag have you experienced anything like this not for me but my brother my younger brother and my uh older brother have some ex bad experience with that yeah Oh, okay. So in Fortaleza as well, you have this? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, and there was a video before. A lady was reporting. Mm -hmm. Did you see this video? Like a, a lady, a news, a news reporter in Brazil. She was reporting live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the video. I saw. And then, you know, somebody just grabbed her cell phone, I think. Yeah. It's oh common. no 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 the necklace the necklace. necklace yeah the necklace and uh, it's common unfortunately it's common oh no oh that's why a lot of Brazilians said they they are happy here because they can walk down the street with their cell phones yes. talking to someone here we are in a par paradise <laughs> oh well we have some cases like this back home and it's probably because of you know poverty you know oh uh, yeah it's because of well the oh, crime yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and sometimes well it's not because that i am justifying it but sometimes people do this because they need to oh, yeah. because they don't have probably don't a have stable job mm -hmm. yeah they don't have jobs at all and if they have a family to feed, to support, yeah? And this is usually caused by people in the government who are very corrupt. Corrupt, yeah. Yeah? They only do stealing, you know? Stealing, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So other than snatching or mm. pick packaging, what crime is, what other crimes... Hmm. are common in your city or in your country so 
sequestro is common in my town, in my city. Uh, I don't know the name in English. Sequest is when some people take another people and put in a um, um, inhospitable place and give me some money and I will be I will bring oh. I will give back your son. What's the name? Kidnap for ransom. Huh? Kidnap? Kidnap? Yeah, for ransom. Okay. Uh, pickpocket. Yeah, pickpocketing. And uh, kidnap for ransom. Yeah, and yeah, kidnap for ransom. Maybe, yeah. mm -hmm. So somebody kidnaps someone. Yeah. Okay, and then they called the parents or family and they said, okay, we've got your son, you have you to pay me, pay me than, um, 10 no. million, yeah, yeah. I have some. Uh, my, my boyfriend before Osiris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had kidnapped for ransoms. You mean yeah. your ex-boyfriend? Yeah. Was kidnapped for ransom? Yeah, and he, wow. he is so rich in my city. Okay. And uh, some guys kidnapped him. Kidnapped him? Yeah, Sorry. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, my, my ex boyfriend was kidnapped for ransom. Wow. Kidnapped for ransom. Kidnapped for ransom. Yeah. Ransom, ransom. Ransom, ransom. Mm hmm. Yeah, for ransom. Mm. Okay. Well, good thing. Good thing that he was released and he's still alive, right? Yeah. He's still and alive. so the family paid for the he ransom? Has, he has two uh, fights in, in his belt. Two. You mean like he was shot? He was shot? shot? Yeah. yeah. Really? And he's, he's alive. alive. He's alive. alive. Yeah, but he has two points like this, two points like this, one arm, and uh -huh. the, the fight. Yeah, yeah so he point. was shot twice? Yeah, twice. Wow, oh my goodness, that was really scary. Yeah. And good thing he's alive. Yeah, he's alive and he has uh, a guy every time. Oh, a bodyguard. Bodyguard. Oh, bodyguard, guard, guard, no, guard, bodyguard, uh-huh, okay, bodyguard, uh-huh, good to know. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah, I think. Okay, so he was kidnapped for ransom, he was shot twice, and he has a bodyguard now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, for yeah. today, good. We have just five minutes, Luisa. You need to rest, go pee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. But anyway, I will send you this back because I want you to to look at the expressions. I need to. Yeah, uh, like this one, for example, if you are telling a story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So anyway, have a nice weekend. Nice weekend. See you on Tuesday. Yes. Yes. In my office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so please give me the address. I know it's near it's near my workplace, but uh yeah. Okay, so have a nice day. Prepare a sandwich for Aziras. Hi, uh, thank you. Okay, see you next week. Bye. Bye. Okay.